Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reaper. And this is a Wisp. Or a V-Crystal, spelled V-I-S but pronounced V. -V. Uh, and it's from Thaumcraft. And they are mobs that show up green on your radar, as you can see. But they are vicious things. If you attack it with any close combat weapon, they will murder you. Each have a special long range ability, and they fly up away from you and then zap you until you're dead. And each one carries some sort of additional thing. This one, I think, gives you nausea, which is the single worst thing in the game. But, I've got to ignore him, he's spawned in here or flew into the hole or something. But,. I don't want to get rid of them because I don't want to die. Coal coke. Its best use is for putting in here and fueling your bat box. Because a single one of those will, will uh, give you 16,000 EU. So stick it in here and you can power your machines and have got wiring under the floor. But on to the main event. This time I'm going to be showing you a few odds and ends, starting with this. I go to the crafting table. You need a book and a, a, another crafting table to create a crafting table 2. This is one that I've used I, I had on my old world, you recognize that. And this is the GUI. It is a genius, I, uh, genius little mod uh, which shows you everything you can make with what you're currently holding. So all of these are from the uh, Balkan's Weapon mod. But say I wanted to make a, a wooden pickaxe, rather than having to lay it all out, there. It shows uh, the items it requires, as well as gives you a little description for most items. So it's quite one, quite one there. doesn't have descriptions for some, like the wooden hoe for some reason. But... Uh, it, it it does have a lot of them as well as stuff for what you're holding. This is a very useful thing. I won't be using it for my re in-game recipes because this way you can actually see what I'm doing. But by now you should have a lot of tin and a lot of copper and a few machines. And a very useful thing you can do is take tin dust and copper dust. You put them in a well, any layout really. And three copper dust and one tin dust creates two bronze dust. And these are very useful things. I'll just create twelve. Bronze has a lot of uses. You can make armor, tools, as well as a couple of uh, special items. And for some completely unknown reason. Bronze is slightly better than iron, which makes absolutely no sense because history shows that iron is better than bronze, but moving on. One of the best uses for bronze is this. Uh, there. There are three different kinds of wrench in this game. There's the Billcraft wrench there. Sorry, that's the forestry wrench. The industrial craft wrench, which is the one that you, you want at the moment, made using five, sorry, four, seven, what? Six, sorry, six bronze. And this is used to move machines. You see, I want my macerator over here so that I can rig it up using some very fancy things. But if I destroy it, there is a 100% chance it will drop a machine block instead. With this, I think it's only a 50% chance. There, see? You right click. And it dropped the macerator as it is. 
So all I have to do is plonk it down there, and I'll wire it up later, going under there. And it's 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 a great way to increase the chances of keeping your glorious and expensive to make machinery. But bronze is is just one small thing. And oh yes, I, I do advise you upgrade to bronze weaponry, uh, bronze armor and stuff. Uh, if you have, if you're, if you're still on stone like I am. But the next thing is this. It is a handsaw, and you can make it out of iron, any of the gems, or diamond. And I have enough diamond, but I'll just show you how to make it. I won't actually make it because, uh, because it is. Some, somewhat on the expensive side, and you won't be able to get that much. Well, maybe not, but yeah. So you lay it out like this, and you can replace these two with iron, emeralds, sapphires, rubies, or just keep them as diamond. But those are always iron. And what that does is it creates this ha handsaw. Uh, and each one is used for cutting blocks. I have a, a marble half step here, but marble half steps don't exist. So say I wanted to cut up some wool. Place the wool in there, and you place the handsaw next to it, and you get a slab. And you place it either... sorry, you can only place that way. You get two slabs, and this, you can cut it again to get a strip, or you can cut it that way and get panels. So, and then you can go further and you can get a strip for each one until you can get a corner, uh, a cover strip, and you can't cut it that way anymore. These are micro blocks. Uh, you might recognize them from clogging up your inventory, your uh, non enough item screen all this time. But they are brilliant. Got this little display thing here when, when you've got to place them. And you can place them on any side. And you can recombine them into panels and... Slabs. These micro blocks, I, I really could do a full video on showing you all the different things you can do with micro blocks. I mean, look at all of these. These are all micro blocks that you can now make. Covers, and you can do them of any material that's in almost any material in the Technic pack. Uh, emerald blocks, pumpkins, uh, netherrack, glass bookshelves, anything. Uh, I think there are only a couple that you can't, and they elude me at the moment, but yeah, you have slabs, corners, strips. My advice would be to just mess around with it. You can use these to make your own kind of stairs, so if I wanted uh, stairs here instead of half blocks, I could cut a slab um, across, I can show you, there, to get a slab strip, and the slab strip would sit at the back there, and there, that's how stairs are made. You can't cut fences, but you can make pe uh, posts and the like, which are the equivalent of, but that's how you can make stairs out of any material, really. And they are, I think, one of the best additions to the Technic Pack. Definitely one of the most interesting. Uh, I'm sure there are videos out there of people who have devoted hours to seeing all the interesting things you can make. I remember at my old world I had tables and chairs and shelves and, you know, counters. You, you really could do 
almost anything with it if you gave it enough time to try. But that's all I've got for you this time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and favourite and all of that stuff. Bye-bye.